Jupiter retrograde in the fourth degree of Aries. This is my Jupiter position. I'm having a Jupiter return today. So, two lovers strolling through a secluded walk. Positive and negative polarities creating dynamism. Duality is central to all existence. So, to resonate with this cosmic reality and realize the full potential of our nature, we must examine and embrace the inner polarities of who we are. This is achieved in the interplay with some special one-to-one -one relationship, which necessarily requires a degree of isolated togetherness. Two lovers strolling through a secluded walk. It is metaphor. Um, the two lovers are the yin and the yang, and they're in a secluded place where they're peacefully allowing themselves just to dance the dance without worrying about time or interruption or intrusion, these kind of things. And if you can internalize that sense of self so that whether you're being more feminine or more masculine, more yin and more yang, it's still authentically who you are so that you've got both sides sorted out, then this is quite an elevated state of consciousness. Very unusual for people to have strong masculine and strong feminine qualities, neither being more dominant. Very unusual indeed. And the people that can actually work in both sides of this dynamic um, are, are noticeably they're special. They, they achieve more and they understand more. They seem to be central and balanced at all times. And I think this is what we have to find. And it is um, a springboard towards greater spiritual consciousness when we can do this. The, the first um, expression of, of Aries, the first five degrees, is emergence. And we begin with the very question of, of whether or not we exist, even. Um, a seed doesn't necessarily get germinated. If you plant grass, you'll have to give at least half of the seeds that you're throwing onto the, the soil away to the birds and lack of germination generally and, and so on. So not every seed turns into a germ. And not every germ turns into a grown plant either. Within ourselves, every one of our ideas is challenged as it comes into the world. That There is nothing that escapes that process. Everything that we think, everything that we want to do, every facet of self-expression is subject to radical challenge, challenge at root. And in the first degree of Aries, we're trying to come into being. The second is this comedian, this, this, this saying, no, nah, no, nah, you're not worth it, laughing at us. That's the challenge. The third one is depends on the context, the environment, who you're with, what's the, you know, the, the time, 21st century, um, what's the place, you know. Everything depends upon context. And that's the third degree of Aries. Then we come to this, the fourth degree of Aries that we're studying together, which is this ability to balance the feminine and the masculine. Now, as I said, this is my Jupiter return. In other words, the whole of my life, I've had this Jupiter position in the fourth degree of Aries. So I, I should know something about what it means for me. And it... it when I was reading the Sabian symbol at, at first, I don't think I understood it very well. I couldn't really see this as being my particularity at all. Jupiter, though, is saying, if you get this right, then you can expand your horizons. And that, that takes 12 years. You know, this is a big deal that you, you get the Jupiter message right and if it's your Jupiter return, such as it is for me, then 
you, you, you're sorting out the next 12 years worth of work or, or adventure or expansion or whatever it is for you. And I've noticed in times gone by where my Jupiter return has, generally speaking, been at the same time as a certain event occurring. And I can check that repeatedly. And it's in no question of doubt that this has to do with my being a teacher. As uh, quite an Aries thing, saying, I think this, you know, it's, it's an Aries thing. So I have to actually balance that. It's no good for me just to be masculine and say, this is what it's like. That would be a lecturer. And, and they have their place in life, but that's not what I am. I'm a teacher. So I actually need to take into account the feedback. I need to respond to the echo of what I put out in life. And my ability to be a teacher depends upon my sensitivity to how people are receiving me. And there are times when I'm congratulated for that. And there are times when I'm um blamed for not having done it properly and this is a feature of, of my path as a teacher is that i get those two pushings and pullings and one is in danger of being swayed if people congratulate me by saying nice words and and so on i, I tend towards wanting that it's, it's it's dopamine fixed when somebody says nice things to you and, and that would bend my teaching to get more approval if I wasn't careful and to say things that I know people want to hear because they, they give me likes on my videos. Whereas on the other hand, if people criticize me and say, I didn't like it when you did that, James, that, that seemed rude. And I can think, oh, well, yes, you saw that as rude. I didn't intend it as rude. I do believe that what I said is what I believe, and I'm afraid that's how it is. You know, you know, quite areas like I'm doing it my way, and if you don't like it, then I don't know whether we've got business together or not. Probably not. So I'm not really willing to capitulate because somebody blames me for something wrong or something praises me for something right. I, I, I have to make sure I'm not doing either of those things and being able to affirm and assert when I need to and respond and listen. I need to listen to this feedback because sometimes people say, you shouldn't have done that, James. And I think, yeah, yeah you're right. I'm going to try not to do that again. And other people think, why don't you do this? This would interest me. I'd please. And, oh, that's a great idea. So I'm not denying the feedback. I'm just saying, that's all it is. It doesn't rule me. And I think this makes me free to expand my life in this Jupiter cycle kind of way. I have 12 year plans and, and, and so on that are aligned with my teaching. Um, it, because I, I take astrology seriously and I know that I have to understand this particular Aries 4 mystery. And the true two lovers are happy, they're quiet, they're, they're not doing anything except for walking in a secluded place. They're just going for a walk in the woods, holding hands or having a nice conversation or sharing some appreciation of, of great nature. It's actually not fast and furious, which you'd expect Aries energy to be. It's not like that. It's, it's gentle and still. And so you can find early on in the first expression of, of Aries, the emergence of Aries, you can find that there is a way to be at peace inwardly. And I think this is the secret that Aries really wants us all to understand is that it is the inner experience of I of self that's the foundation for the next degree jupiter five which is the rising a triangle with wings which we looked at a few days ago you have to get yourself in balance inwardly and not depend upon others 
relationship in particular, friendship, employers, the more you can withdraw from depending upon other people for your feelings and your sense of well-being, the better. So I think that aspect of Aries 4 also needs to be underlined, that it is an inner experience. It is finding inner balance between the push and the pull of life, the feminine, the masculine, me and you. All of these polarities are hinted at here. It's not just male and female. Every duality can be reconciled internally. And when it is, you're self-sufficient. Well, Aries loves that. And Jupiter is saying, yeah, well, here's your chance. You can be more self-sufficient now. What that means is whatever you've been looking out there for to satisfy you, no. Bring it, bring it inside, especially your emotional needs. Try and not need anybody to talk to. Of course you can go only so far with that. We all need somebody to talk to, but try and do it less. Try and grow up a bit more, become more and more self-contained. I think that's helpful here. Mm -hmm.